safety can opener. So it's going to work from the top, not the side like your traditional can openers. It doesn't cut into the can through the top of the can like your old style can openers do. It's going to actually reverse the crimp. Take that lid off the top, really uh, leaving you with no sharp edges. An easy thing for you now to open and you don't cross contaminate. I can start with black beans, a can of peaches, then move to albacore tuna, and I'm never going to have any residual. There are five jobs that this one machine will do, this one gadget, I should say. So let's come back and show you all five as we talk about this one. Now, as I mentioned, we started the show with this one, and we have taken orders for over 8,000 in this show alone, 10,000 for the day, and 70,000 since it debuted. Now, here is your lid lifter. Goes on top, and not from the side, but goes on the top. You'll know when you're all the way around because the tension will change. Now turn this counterclockwise, and it releases from the can. Trust me, I know it will. There it is. And then, down below is a little bird beak. We come here, and we take that lid off, and there are no sharp edges. This is canned corn, by the way. Now, if you've got a manicure, the last thing you want to do is pop open this vegetable alphabet soup with your fingernail. How about taking this parrot beak and just pull it back? That's quick and easy. Now, if I need to release that vacuum seal on this jar, simply hold that like so, and now that jar lid comes off as pretty as you please. If you've got a bottle of club soda, Birch beer, ginger beer, regular beer, and you need to be able to open up. Look how easy that is. And then finally, your two liter soda bottles. One liter, one and a half, two liter soda bottles, they all have the same size lid. And these can be really tough to open, particularly if you don't have any hand strength. Go on here, just turn the bottle until you crack the seal. You'll hear the pshhh. And then that lid comes off as pretty as you please. Those are your five jobs all in one. Now, here are the colors I have remaining. I have this in the red. That's been our most popular. Only 2,200 remain in the red. Here's black, the color I own in my kitchen. This is green. We're last call in the green, fewer than 150. This is aqua. Then I have gray. This is the sage. And finally, the white. We have two brand new colors today, the white and the sage. The plum is already sold out. That was another new color today. All right, let's welcome back in Mark Charles Masilli, joining us again live via Skype to talk about something that's going to replace five tools in our kitchen. Yeah, and more importantly, what's the mechanism about? I want to take a closer look at what we think we knew or we knew about can openers. And I have a traditional can opener here. Until Kudenry kind of engineered the safety lid lifter, this can opener is what we had, okay? That was the only choice. What was interesting about this was there are two blades. These two blades actually go into your can, create sharp edges to the can and the lid, create microscopic shavings that fall into the food that you then later ingest. It breeds bacteria and cross contaminates. So all of that we took and was the only option until Swiss engineering came around. And just to show you the difference, see the blade? and that this is not a blade. What Kuhn Recon did is, look, I can put my finger here. There's no blade, there's a wheel right there. See that wheel? It actually is uncrimping or reversing the crimping process. This doesn't touch the food. This doesn't cross contaminate. This doesn't breed bacteria. It doesn't make sharp edges to the can or the lid, and it doesn't put microscopic shavings of metal into your food that you ingest. When we're used to, like cutting it that way, here's the way it looks from underneath. So you can see what it's doing from the force from the top. It's making it easier because all your force is from above instead of from the side. And being able to have something that's got no sharp edges now on the can of the lid, where you never have to touch it, but more importantly, no cross-contamination, which means open up your dog food and go right to baby formula immediately after with zero fear that anything was going to cross-contaminate because there's no blade to touch your food. If you knew before Kuhn Recon, you would need to have a separate can opener for your pets because we all knew that it touched the pet food and then it would integrate with people food. So now with Kuhn Recon, you don't need two for, uh, can openers for a pet or people because it doesn't touch the food. Now, Mark Charles from the Snake It Would Have Bit Me department, I was holding the plum and I said it had sold out. It had not.
Oh, so we still have the back. plum. Plum and white and sage are our three brand new colors today. Our three new colors, yep. These are all available, so my apologies, plum is available. So plum is available, white is available, and sage. These are our three new colors, but sage is limited with 1,700 left in the, in the sage. Then I have gray. This is aqua. If you want this green, I have four dozen remaining in the green. Here's the color I have in my kitchen, the black. And here's the red. We've now taken orders for over 9,500 in this show alone. For the day now, 11,500 for the day. Mark Charles, I've been sipping on the club soda, so I'm gonna move that one out of the way. And I'm gonna bring over some ginger ale. Now maybe you've got, now Mark Charles and I are old enough to remember when they used to sell soda bottles, or soda in bottles. And you yeah, bought them out family. of a cold vending machine and they had a church the key opener on the, it was yep. screwed into the machine, it right? It was this. You needed a church key stainless You needed like this. that, exactly. So look yep. what we can do here. Now maybe you've got an old fashioned bottle. Look how easily that comes off. Maybe you're still buying beer in a bottle if you are, God bless. I mean, that's nice. that's nice on a hot summer day. So all this comes together really beautifully. Don't miss out on this opportunity. And Mark Charles, we should point out, I opened canned corn here. This is going to be black beans. Let's open up the black beans and then remove the lid and I'll show you the bottom of the can opener. Unlike old fashioned can openers, there's nothing left here. There's no residual on the can. Let me first remove the lid. There's the black beans. But more importantly, look at the can opener. You see any, uh, any corn, any black beans, any tuna, any dog food, any cat food on there? Mm -mm. Not there. All dry, all clean, no cross-contamination, Mark Charles. That's right. And, and you know what? One of the things we always should remind people to, David, is go into your drawer right now, folks. If you don't have the can opener, and yours looks like this, I want you to pull it out right now and tell me it doesn't have gunk on it. Tell me it doesn't have bacteria and dried up food. The only way you can prevent that is using a toothbrush and bleach every time you use this can opener after you use it to not have that happen. Who's doing that? Because let's be honest, no one's doing that. With the Kun Recon, the way you get it like this, it'll always look like this, whether it is a big can of tomato, sauce or soup or beans or dog food. Nothing cross contaminates, nothing creates a sharp edge on the can or the lid. Nothing does this where I could take this off with my hands. This is all sauce. Let's try to find a dot of that sauce anywhere on there. Why? This is not an exposed blade that cuts into the can. This is the auto safety lid lifter that Kun Recon did 22 years ago with me and has never changed that mechanism because it's proven it's Swiss engineering. There's nothing to be fixed here because it's perfect the way it is. We just changed the colors and the four features on the end, but this mechanism has been tried and true all these years. And Mark Charles, here's a one liter bottle of sparkling lemon water. Now this is the same size lid as our two liter soda bottle, right? We use, open this one earlier because we cracked the seal. Now I'm going to take this same opener and I'm simply going to turn the bottle until I crack open the seal, which I've just done. And now this lid comes off as pretty as you please. Is there anything more refreshing than a great big glass of ice and some sparkling lemon water on top? Maybe a lemon wedge. Maybe a little vodka splash in there. I don't know. As long as you're not driving, I'm not judging. So all this is happening for you at a great time where we've got colors for you. Now, if you want the red, it's been our most popular tonight. Fewer than 1,700 remain in the red. If you need the black, I have that available for you. 1,500 remain in the black. If you want green, it's gone. This one did sell out, so we'll take that one away. And in the aqua, 1,900. The gray, we're good to go. Now our three new colors, sage. 1,500 left in the sage. Here's the brand new white. 2,000 remain there. And then finally the plum. 2,000 remain in the plum. 11,000 now ordered in this show and 13,000 for the day. Mark Charles, you can go into your drawer now, pull out five appliances, donate them, and replace it with this one. This is a true reimagined item. And the beauty behind that is it's Swiss engineering. It's the five you need all the time. It's less space, but it's going to work tried and true always. 
Again, here's the difference between Kuhn Recon and the typical can opener. It's uncrimping the can or reversing the canning process. Coming from above, not leaving a sharp edge, not touching the food, not breeding bacteria or cross-contaminating, and not doing any microscopic shavings of metal that fall into the food with a traditional can opener and you ingest you and your family. There's the traditional one on the left and there's Code Recon on the right. That's the difference. We put the pull tab for the Parrot Beak on the other end too, because a lot of cat tabs, uh, cans come with pull tabs, so you need that. David talked about this. This is personal water bottles, one liter, two liter, up to three liter bottles will all have the same size cap on it. And that's what we made for that. And of course, David also mentioned the bottle opener. That is a church key style that is stainless, won't rust or crack on you. And the last thing, of course, is that metal jar opening to create that vacuum and make it a better place to open up your metal jar. So it's just a smarter way of doing five things in your kitchen that will be tried and true. This is a product that I've been bringing for 22 years. We've changed colors, we've changed little add-ons, but this Swiss engineering hasn't changed. It's been the best can opener I've ever had. In all my years, people ask me what's the number one gadget. Not kidding. This is the number one gadget I've sold. Then it goes snips, pull, chop, jar opener. But this is the first one out of all of them, in my opinion. Always a customer favorite, and it is again today. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We're down to our last minute and a half of the presentation, and a lot of you now are picking some up as gift ideas. It's not too soon to be pushing that fa la 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 button because we're already, what is today? The 7th of, uh, it's, we're, we're a week into September already. What? How do we get to be a, a week into September already? Won't be long at all before now, before we begin thinking about what's in the gift closet, what's set aside for all the great things for stocking stuffers. This would be great for someone just starting their first kitchen, moving into a new home, whatever the case may be. And if you're worried about colors because you don't know what, what someone's color scheme is, two safe colors, Mark Charles, I think you would agree, would be white or the gray. Both of these are good safe harbor colors, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. And, and the white's never been done before, David. So today we're introducing it because white is becoming a big trend like gray is in the kitchen. And I don't remember, David, I don't know if you remember this, but like 20 years ago, 19 years ago, I did a, a safety little lifter can opener with you and it only came in white. That was back in the day when color wasn't oh, a thing. Oh, I remember that, yes. Remember this? Like, this goes back, right? Then white went away for all these years. I now, think I have forward, that one. I think I have that one at home. Yeah, I do. Fast forward, we're introducing white today because white's becoming on trend again. Crazy, right? Because if I'm remembering correctly, the one that we had before had a split handle on it, didn't it? Good memory, David. I and thought so. it was so. only offered in white. Yes, that was the one. And you, had to, and you had to close the two sides the to get it to grip the yep. can, right? Yep. All right. Hi. Um, you know what? Uh, great rule of thumb of broadcasting. Don't up. ever drink carbonated beverages while you're on the air. <laughs> I can think the show's over. Because <laughs> you will burp. Yeah, you will. You haven't heard me burp because I've done it under my breath. That's a whole bottle of club soda right there. Wow, is that carbonated. Woo. All right, fantastic. Fizzy. Mark Charles, thanks for sticking around, buddy. Hi, MCM. Thanks, my friend. Bye-bye.